If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, find a basis and state the dimension of the following subspace. And it's the set of all vectors of the form a minus 4b minus 2c, 2a plus 5b minus 4c, minus a plus 2c, minus 3a plus 7b plus 6c. So our subspace we could write as the span of these three vectors. The first vector is the coefficient of all the a's. The second vector is the coefficient of all the terms with b. And our last vector would be the coefficients of all the terms with c. And if there was more scalars, um, there'd be more vectors here. But just because we could write our subspace as the span of some vectors doesn't mean that those vectors form a basis. We need to check that they're linearly independent. To check for linear independence, what we're going to do is take our vectors and form a matrix out of them. And we'll row reduce so we could find the pivot columns. And the pivot columns will be a basis, will form a basis for our subspace. So we'll row reduce. And we don't have to go all the way to reduce row echelon form. We just have to go far enough to find the pivot columns. And so we could see that the pivot columns are in the first and second column. So the first and second vector of our set forms a basis. So another way to say that is our subspace is equal to the span of these two vectors. In fact, this, this uh, is a linearly independent set, so it's a basis. And now to find the dimension of this vector space, all you have to do is count the number of vectors in the basis. And so it's two. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.